I'm Sheena with Dancing Daisy Designs and today I'm going to be taking a cute little box that I thrifted and I'm going to be fixing it up to be a holiday gift box that can also be used as decor. But before I get started, I just want to mention that this video is part of a collaboration with a whole bunch of other really great DIYers. So make sure to check out all of the videos in this playlist. I'm going to be working on this cute little round box. I went ahead and gave it a coat of white paint and let it dry completely. And I'm going to do a stencil on this one. So first I'm going to start with the top and I'm going to stencil the top. And this is the stencil I'm going to use. I know you can't see it very well, but it's the Paris stencil from Jamie Ray Vintage Stencil Company. Um, you can find these at jamierayvintage.com. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do part of this stencil on here. I'm gonna be using Fancy Farm Girl, which is this nice green color. I'm using my JRV stencil brush, and I haven't done a ton of stenciling, so cross your fingers. Here we go. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna get a little bit of paint on the end of your brush. You don't need a lot of paint. And then you're going to offload. So you're going to remove most of the paint. And then I'm just going to hold my stencil down because this isn't going to tape very well. And then you just kind of pounce up and down just to fill in the area where the stencil is. I just love these little boxes. This I really I really like this idea. The whole idea that I had behind this is that you can create a box to put a Christmas gift in for somebody that's really really neat and unique, has a handmade flair to it, and they can use it possibly for decor during or after the holidays even. So that is the idea that I had here. All right, fingers crossed. Oh, it turned out pretty good. It's a little juicy, which means that I got a little bit too much paint on there. I don't know, what do you think? Over here, see that? The dew is very juicy. Hmm, you know, I think I'm gonna go with it because it looks like old signage and old signage is never put on perfect it's done very quickly so and I'm gonna add a little bit more up here and something down here I need to let it dry for a minute so I don't smear it okay I'm gonna add another section from the stencil here it's just a, a 1939 here at the bottom and I taped off a, this other part of the stencil because I don't want that showing up on here so I'm just gonna make sure that it's centered where I want it and offload really good this time and put that part on there all right okay so this is what we've got so far i think that's super super cute i'm going to be adding another part of the stencil up here on the top I'm going to tape off the part that I don't want paint to come through on. And I'm just going to stencil that. So that's what the lid looks like after stenciling. I think it turned out super cute. I love it. And now I'm going to use part of the same stencil and I'm going to do it on this round part. So this is going to be a little bit more advanced here for me. So I'm going to add it here. And I'm definitely going to tape it down. And then I'm going to tape off another section of the stencil because I don't want the paint to come through there. All right. So cross your fingers for me because this is, I've never stenciled on this type of a round surface before. So if I can do it, I'm pretty sure anybody can do it. So here we go. All 
All right, moment of truth. What do you think? I think it looks pretty good. It looks, uh, it looks vintage. Oh, I really like that a lot. All right, the stenciling is all done. I did add the word Paris right here. I think that looks really cute and it filled that little gap. This is what it looks like on the side. I'm gonna go ahead and wait for it to completely dry and then I'm gonna give it a light sanding. I'm going to add a layer of clear wax and then I will come back and we can dark wax it and finish it together. White box is all dry. I, um, I went ahead and I did do some a little bit of distressing on it with some sandpaper very lightly. I brought out some some of the color on the edges and then just distressed back the stencil just a little bit in places to give it more interest. And now we are ready to wax it with the black wax. I did put a coat of clear wax on first. You always want to do that. Black wax is very, very strong and it will make it look very, very dirty and muddy. So when you apply a layer of clear wax first, um, you're creating a barrier. So when you put your darker waxes on, you can um, control just how dark that's gonna get. I did paint the inside. I was a little messy when I was painting, so it didn't look good, so I painted the inside. And I'm gonna leave that a nice crisp white. I want it to look nice and clean on the inside, even though we're going for a little bit more of a vintage-y look on the outside. Okay, so I've got my wax brush, and this is what a wax brush looks like. It's kind of flat. It's a flat, full brush. So I've got that brush, and here's my wax, and I'm just gonna dip a little bit in there. I don't wanna get too much. And I'm just going to use the lid to kind of distribute it evenly. So I don't have a ton on there. And I'm just going to go ahead and just apply it. I'm going a little lighter just because I know I'm not going to need that much to get the look that I want. So I don't want to waste my wax. See the difference? Okay, and then immediately I'm going to just wipe it back. So I've got my clean cloth. Do you see the look we're getting here? So it's not overwhelmingly dark and dirty, but it's got a lot of great interest here. This is the part that I haven't taken it off of yet, and this is the part that I have. Do you see the difference? All done. I think this box turned out so cute, and I love that it's a gift box as well as a decor item. Somebody's really gonna love this. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to check out my YouTube channel, Dancing Daisy Designs. I have a whole stack of thrifted boxes that I'm gonna be doing different techniques on, so make sure to check that out. And don't forget to watch all of the cool videos in this playlist. I'll see you later, bye.